Uh, the Office of Economic Development, we have Cheryl Kilbert, the Assistant Director. Say hi, Cheryl. We have uh, Charity Lee, one of our Business Development Managers. Vicki Taylor, our newest member of our team, our Destination Sales Manager. Joining me here um, at main event, we have Aaron White, one of our Business Development Managers. Wendy Bridges, another one of our Business Development Managers. And uh, of course, Lisa Lance, number one. Having a great to have you here. I'm looking to see who we have on the on the line right now. It looks like we have Chris Flowers. Chris, say hi to everybody. Boy, hi to everybody. We have Steve Bannon. We got Aaron Reyna, who we're going to get to in a minute here from Colados. Maya Terry, say hi to everybody. Maya. Danae Presler with our DES team. She's our she's our our our, our, our environmental uh, guru. So she's going to have some some stuff to talk about our, our green our green business program. We have Kathy Hall. I see you're on you're on the. You're on the line, Pierce. Say hi to everybody. Pierce Samari, she's our director of marketing and public relations. And I think we're gonna have a few people join us here in a minute as well. So we are broadcasting from main event here in Avondale. If you've never been to main event, it's really cool. It's, you got your you got your bowling, you got your games, you got everything for the whole family. I think I saw an old Gallagher machine out there. I'm gonna go tear that up after we're done with this. Um, and and uh, it's 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 a blast. So if you haven't been down here, come down here, check it out. Wonderful people here at main event have welcomed us. We have. Uh, we have we, we have uh, them them hosting everything outside, and we have Jennifer Decker who's going to be on here pretty soon to, to talk about it. So uh, this is the first one of our co of our of our morning coffee mixers for our new local edge program. But, uh, by being an Avondale business, you're automatically enrolled. If you have not gotten your welcome package, please reach out to our team by the website AvondaleLocalEdge.com, and we'll connect with you and we'll get you your, your welcome package. It's got some stickers, got some books, uh, all kinds of cool stuff, and um, we actually just got these guys in. These are our new local edge NASCAR hats. These things are pretty sweet. So we're going to be giving away a couple of these things today. It's, it's a little bit. It's a little bit later on the broadcast. You answer some trivia questions. You can win one of these very exclusive, very rare collectible hats. All right. So um, on that website, um, the Abadale Local Edge website, we have a lot of different tools on there. Um, you're going to see something called the Size Up tool. Now, some of you have been in the past, have seen our broadcast in the past where we did a demonstration of it. It, it's basically free market analytics. You're a small business, you want to jump on, you want to see where the best place to open up a store may be, you want to see where your target audience is going to be in Avondale, jump on that website. It's all free, okay? You just, all you do is plug and play, you figure out where, where, where the wages are, you figure out how many staff members you're supposed to have. Lots of tools, great tool, and I want you guys to go, to go ahead and use that um, as you need. Uh, we also have a job a job page on there. It's linked to a couple different sites throughout the valley, but it broadcasts all the jobs in Avondale and, and also in the Southwest Valley. Uh, jump on there and, and, and check out if you if you have any need to uh, to 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 recruit or you or you are or, or you know somebody in your family that's looking for a gig. There you go. We have a job board on there too. Um, we're also constantly updating it with new business news and of course our quarterly cutting edge newsletter. If you've not subscribed to that newsletter, there's an opportunity to do it. It gives you a recap of everything we've done the past quarter. Avondale's been popping lately, guys. And, and you know that as, as, as subscribers on that newsletter and uh, we, we hope to get you guys on that list. Uh, the newest thing that's 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 going to be coming forward here, and you guys and you guys probably saw this in our in our social media accounts, is the Leading Edge Awards. Every year, by simply being an Avondale business, you are automatically entered into the Leading Edge Awards. So we, we award one for the for the for the largest economic impact and for the largest community impact. So for for businesses that that again create those jobs, create that capital investment, we have the economic impact award. Uh, for, for the community impact. It's those businesses that, that contribute back to Avondale. Um, they're, 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 they sponsor softball leagues. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're donating to charities. They're, they're, they're doing things to help grow that local business community and really contribute back to Avondale as, in, as a whole. Recently, we, we, did, we did announce our first winners of that. Uh, for the economic impact, we had Phoenix Raceway. And for our economic impact or for our community impact, we had Eric's Barbecue, so we're excited to to, uh, to broadcast them, and we're, we're going to be presenting them again at the State of the City event here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, now, if you want to nominate your business, or you want to have, uh, or you have a business you want to nominate for that, keep following us on our socials. We're going to be in, in about summer, around the summertime, we're going to be asking for nominations. It's free. You basically just jump on our Instagram, our LinkedIn, our Facebook account. And you name people. It's good stuff. To, it's it's good stuff to roll. So, 
I think I've already introduced everybody on the phone. I'm, I'm looking to see if anybody else has joined us. Stand by one second. We have, we have Ben Cheney, say hi to everybody, Ben. We have Alon, Alon, how you doing, buddy? Say, so go ahead and wave, wave to everybody there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and kick it over to Aaron, Aaron Reyna at Kaleidos Coffee, who's gonna do a nice pour over uh, its, uh, its, its feature for us. Um, Hey guys, my name is Aaron. How we doing? I'm here with Colados Coffee and Crepes, and we've been here in the community for seven years now. We just turned seven, and we're super excited to be here, man. And we're going to be talking a little bit about um, what we do at Colados. Uh, we start coffee and crepes, and today is National Crepe Day. So what a great place to be at, celebrating, and just being with you guys. We're so we're so honor, honored to be here. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, what kind of bar the barista language that we do at coffee shops. I know it gets a little confusing, it gets a little uh, complex, but I want to make that better for you guys. So I don't know if you guys know the difference between a cappuccino and a latte. If you do, you're great. You go to a coffee shops a lot. But that was one of the first things that I struggled to understand. So I want to clear that out for you guys. So the difference between cappuccino in a latte is cappuccinos have more foam. That's it. I know it sounds a lot more complex, but that's simply it. And uh, today I want to show you guys how we do our coffee at Colados. We say we're powered by passion because we pour out our passion in every single cup and every single crepe we do. So I want you guys to follow me here so you guys can see how we make our latte art and that way you can kind of understand the process behind everything. So here we have our uh, espresso machine and we have our, our coffee that we have already put in here. This is um, Mexican coffee that we get locally uh, in some farms. So we're about to insert it in here. Then we have our milk ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it off. Got our mug in the bottom. Now we start. So I'm doing two things at once. We got the espresso coming out and I'm seeing milk at the same time. Multitasking. So this is a skill that takes, I, I still have to work on it sometimes, but it gets better every time. Right. Perfect. So we're gonna start pouring the milk. There you have it. There you go. That's the latte art done here. And Something you can order next time, just a latte. And if you want to sound smart and everybody in the coffee shop you're in, just tell the people you're taking order, can I get it breve style? Yes, you heard breve. And that means they're going to substitute the milk for creamer and it's going to make your coffee taste a lot richer. So those are some helpful tips that you guys can use next time you go to a coffee shop or you visit Colados. We're at 107th and Indian School. And we're open from Monday through Saturday. We're closed on Sundays. And this month only, you can try our red velvet crepe, which is available for all month. You can come for Valentine's Day, or you can come and celebrate and drink coffee. And this crepe has coconut, it has raspberries. Um, and it, it's something that you can enjoy uh, with friends or just by yourself. So we invite you to go try that. We're in Avondale. We're super excited to be here. And we're honored for, for this time, this opportunity. So. We hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for having us. Awesome. Thank you so much, Aaron. That was amazing. And by the way, Breve style, that's the way to go. Put the pounds on, but it's happy pound. It's all good. Right? Okay, now is the time for everybody to compete.
for one of these cool exclusive hats. I got two of them to give away. Okay, as well as a great bag of other stuff too. We got, we got some, we got some, uh, some, some tumblers in there. We got some literature. We got a couple other unique giveaways here. You got to answer in the chat box there. If you don't know where the chat function is, it's that little, it's that little chat balloon on your, on your, on your, uh, on, on your screen. First trivia question: What year was Avondale founded? First person to get it right gets one of these. Great bags. What year was Avondale founded? <laughs> hey, Alon got it, 1946. Well done, Alon. <laughs> well done. There's next, next, you know, and that, that's interesting that we actually put that number on our hat. I mean, I think that's yeah. that's an interesting coincidence. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is our diamond anniversary year. You might want to point that out. Yeah. You know, Pierre made a good point. This is our diamond anniversary year as well. We're going to be celebrating that all year. Lots of cool stuff going on. 1946 was our founding year. Uh, Avondale's just been booming lately. The next question, what is the name of the of the marker? What, what, why is Avondale considered to be the center of Arizona? We are considered to be the center community of Arizona. And it's, called, it's, 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 it's because of the name of a specific marker. Who knows what that is? You know, there is a really good uh, song by a uh, by a group called the Tragically Hip. It's the basis of everything. It's called and it's called the hundredth. It's called the hundredth hundredth meridian. Um, it's it's this amazing song. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm trying to give you guys some hints. It is the base of meridian marker. Uh, I will. I will. Uh, I I will uh, go ahead and. You know, Chris, you tried. <laughs> I'll give that one to Chris. All right. With that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and hand it over to Jennifer now, correct? Okay. Jennifer Decker, who is uh, the event sales manager here at Main Event. Uh, we're handing it over here. Go over her. Jennifer, look forward to it. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Jennifer. I'm the event sales manager for Main Event in Avondale. We're coming at you today live. Anybody who doesn't know, Main Event Avondale is where your family entertainment center for anything that you could think of that is fun. So we have a wide range of activities for people of all ages, really. We do corporate events, we do kids' birthday parties, everything in between. We reopened to the public on May 22nd. So for the past eight months, we've been your safety pros. We have flexed with every government update um, that you could, I mean, you guys live area that you could think of in between. So. As of today, I just kind of want to give you a little feel for what we have going on. And I also want to keep you guys having a good time because that's what we're all about. So I am here with Joseph. Joseph is our technical services team member. So um, I'm going to have you guys participate in a challenge for me. I'm going to need you to post in the chat how many pins you think Joseph is going to knock over today. So Joseph, how confident are you feeling? How avid of a bowler are you? Slightly better as time goes on. <laughs> So Joseph is feeling mildly confident. So we're going to have Joseph throw the ball down. I need you guys to post your vote. How many pins? Remember, there are 10 pins. So how many of you think he's going to knock over in this first frame? Joseph, take it away. Wow. Okay. So that was eight, right? All right. Eight pins down. So anybody who guessed eight pins, we're going to give you one more chance in case there is a tie. We're going to have Joseph pull one more frame. Joseph, how are you feeling right now? Not good. No, you're still feeling good. I think you got it. I think you got it. It's a little bit of a tricky shot here. We have two lanes split, or excuse me, two pins split. And anyone who guessed gutter ball, good for you. So thank you guys for participating. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a bird's eye view of our center. Now, I am gonna operate this while trying not to make you dizzy and sick. So bear with me. I'm here on our 26 beautiful lanes for bowling. We have our cafe behind us, our party street area, a bunch of arcade games, 
And then below, you're going to see something super exciting new to the VR world, not just to main events. So I'm going to walk you over. Bear with me again. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I'm going to walk you over to our brand new Star Wars lightsaber dojo virtual reality game. So anybody who has never virtually crushed, stunned, or sliced your opponents, I'm hoping you're all saying no to all these things. You need to get over here and try the new lightsaber dojo virtual reality game. I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to play this game for free. So all you need to do is post about this event. So the Avondale Local Edge Coffee Mixer, and you just need to hashtag two things. I think this is going to be flipped for you. Hashtag Avondale Local Edge and hashtag my main event. And we are going to be selecting a handful of you guys to come in with a group of friends and play this for free. Don't be selfish. If you don't want to play this game, you know somebody who is a Star Wars nut. I know you do. So we got to get over here. Um, I want to walk you guys around and show you our center. But to be honest with you, there are 50,000 square feet that need to be covered. I um, I mean, I know I've mentioned it, but we really do every sort of type of event. We have our banquet rooms that are extremely versatile. Corporate events, team builders, kids' birthday parties, uh, weddings, fundraisers. Now put the word virtual in front of all of that. We now offer virtual events. So you don't have to come to the center if you're not ready to come out yet. Again, put the word virtual in front of everything. Maybe not weddings, that kind of strange. It might not be legal, but we're hoping to see you guys, whether it's online or in person. So thank you so much for joining us today. As my guest, I'm gonna invite all of you to try out our virtual demo that we're hosting on the 11th. And I so look forward to meeting you guys all and getting to know you better. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for all the Avondale Edge people for throwing this lovely early morning event. I hope you have your coffee. I'll see you soon. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Appreciate you. And thank you again for hosting us here today. Great event, great event. And uh, forget what I said about Galaga. I'm playing with lightsabers. That's freaking cool. Okay, so come on down and check it out. Now, um, I think Aaron's going to pull up our local edge website again. We're going to we're going to take you guys through it. I was touting about it. Great things at the beginning. I figured we might as well go ahead and share it with you. Um, AvondaleLocalEdge.com. Uh, you can see all of our tools on here. Really easy to navigate. We got our toolbar right there. Um, Aaron, why don't you go ahead and click on the on the size up tool really quick. I've been, bra I've been bragging about this and it's, it's time. I, I, I really think everybody had an opportunity to check this out. Scroll down a little bit for me. So there's actually a, a, a little bit, a, there's a little YouTube video on there that's, that's the know-how to show you actually how to use the website. You keep scrolling down, lots of different market analysis that you can do based on your, on your business type. Um, again, great tool if you're looking to locate, expand your small business. Uh, you want to, you, you really want to get the analytics of what's happening in Avondale, an amazing tool. So I really, uh, I really recommend you get on there and, and you, when you play around a little bit. Um, if you look at the job opening section right there on the website, Scroll down a little bit for me, thanks. This gives you a lot of the, this, this gives you some of the job openings that are, that are currently posted uh, throughout the city right now. You see the vitamin shop has a couple on there right now. You can search by category and as more come online, we're gonna be populating that as well. There's also an opportunity to, for more upcoming events like this one. As a matter of fact, we got another event happening in March uh, that I'll get into in a little bit, but that's gonna be our after hours mixer uh, at 5.30 p.m. on March 11th. Uh, but this gives you an opportunity to look at all the cool stuff that's going on with it. There's some, there's some events coming on with AOT as well as some upcoming um, local edge um, events as well. So I urge you all, avondalelocaledge.com, hashtag it, visit the site, visit, and visit us on our socials. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna turn it over to Danae Pressler, who's going to chat about our green business program. Hey, everyone. So I'm Danae Pressler. I'm the sustainability officer for the city of Avondale. Pleasure to be with you all this morning. I um, feel like everybody has had their full cup of coffee before me, but I'm gonna like be right there with you in a few minutes. Um, I wanna chat with you a little bit about a great opportunity for our local businesses here in Avondale that's called the Green Business Program. And this is really a way to recognize the great work that our businesses are doing in um, implementing sustainable practices. So we break that down into four different categories and we just, in order to become a certified green business, it's totally free. We'll walk you through the process, a very simple application, but there's uh, the minimum requirements is that you're doing something to reduce energy. 
something to conserve water, reduce waste and prevent pollution. And we've got this really easy checklist where you can indicate what you're doing um, within, the, within the application itself. Or if your business doesn't quite fit into that, we'll work with you to make sure that, um, you know, if, if you're doing sustainable practices or going above and beyond environmental regulations, we want you to be certified as a green business and we want to help promote what you're doing. And we also want to help um, help you advance further if there are some um, opportunities you're looking for to become even more sustainable. So the, the application is online. If you go to avondaleaz.gov slash green business, um, or you could Google Avondale green business and it, it will come up for you. Um, the application is there. You can uh, feel free to reach out to me or the economic development team directly and we will also send you over that application, no problem. And then the, from there, um, I'll come out and do a site visit with you and we'll just walk through so you can show me what you're doing at your business. We already have 20 businesses that are certified as green, um, as certified green businesses in Avondale. And I saw Colados was on the line. They're one of our, our great green businesses. Um, and they're doing some really neat stuff. He mentioned um, having uh, local ingredients um, sourced for, for his restaurant. There's um, a variety of opportunities and we take businesses large and small through this program. And then we'll make sure to promote you on our, our social channels, on our website, in the Rave magazine. Great way to get the word out and to bring more eco-conscious customers to your business. And then also a lot of cost savings because if you're reducing energy and water, you're also reducing your operation costs. And I'll, I'll leave it at that. And I'm going to go ahead and drop my contact info in the chat if anybody wants to follow up with me after this. Thank you so much, Danae. We appreciate it. That's a great program. And Danae, it's, and that program is free of charge, correct? And awesome. There you go. Yep, so it's totally free um, and very simple process. Cool. So all you businesses that are interested in that, please connect with Danae. Um, great, great program for, for all you have nail businesses here. Um, I'm going to have Aaron pull back up the website again here really quick so we can talk about some upcoming events. Uh, I brushed over them very quickly in that last segment. Uh, but if you scroll down a little bit, on March 11th at 5.30 p.m., we're going to be uh, streaming live another virtual event from uh, the Residence Inn, um, which is part of our of our Boulevard Hotel Block. Lots of different hotels at the Boulevard right now, and, and the Residence Inn is, is one of our newest ones. Uh, so uh, so please join us at 5.30, uh, it's 530 p.m. on March 11th. And if you scroll down a little bit more, you can, you can talk. There's also a local education um, Avondale tourism series here. Uh, it basically, it's Tourism 101. So for all, everybody interested in, in the basics of, 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 of the tourism industry, uh, we're going to have our new destination sales manager, Nikki Taylor, there. Uh, that's that's going to join us as well as many of uh, his, his representatives from AOT uh, talking about the best ways to uh, to use your business and, and, and to promote your business um, in, that, in that tourism vertical. Um, so continue to, to check out that page, look for those events, join us here where we, where we feature our Avondale businesses. And every once in a while, I'll throw in an, an obscure, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's thing about the travel, about the tragically hip or some other band you probably never heard of before. Anyways, uh, with that being said, uh, follow us on LinkedIn, follow us on Facebook, follow us on, on, on Instagram. Um, I hope you all had a great show. Jennifer, thank you so much for having us here. Aaron uh, with, with Colado's Coffee. Happy seven years in, Ari in, 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 in Arizona, in Avondale. Um, looking forward to seeing you all again. All right. Thank you all very much. That's the end of our program.